All righty, Fargo returns tonight with not one, but two Ewan McGregors. He explains how in an Entertainment City Canadian exclusive. But first, feud alert. <laughs> No drama here. The stars of the acclaimed series Feud, Betty and Joan, hit the red carpet for a special finale screening in New York last night, where we caught up with them to talk about telling the story of the legendary rivalry between Betty Davis and Joan Crawford during the filming of their thriller, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? At the time in Hollywood, a lot of the studios, and especially the Gossip economists, would be pitting the actresses against each other. You know, defeat the speculation, defeat fuel to the fire. I might have something, but you didn't hear it from me. Whenever you do a film, they, uh, you know, the rumors are that you're sleeping with the guy and fighting with the woman. It's just a very old kind of scenario. Action. I barely touched oh, her. Did you get it? Feud closes the book on Betty and Joan this Sunday night. Catch the season finale then on FX. You still owe me what happened when we were kids. Ray, no, I'm talking to my brother. Happy to help, really, but where does it end? The hardest challenge of all is this uh, is the accent. You might be surprised to hear that Ewan McGregor thinks that is the hardest part of the job for his role in season three of Fargo, considering he's doing double duty playing two lead characters. How about you just give me back my stamp? We'll call it square. It was a trade. That's not, that was you tricking me, Ray. Can you introduce those two characters? So they're brothers. The older brother is Emmett Stussy, a successful businessman, family man. I don't know, like everyone in Fargo, nobody's good or bad. Any moment, anyone, someone could be the villain or somebody could be the hero, you know? Right. And the other brother is a guy called Ray. He is by far the less successful brother. Catch the season three premiere of the award-winning Fargo with a whole new cast and a whole new bloody rivalry tonight, only on FX. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's this nervous tick I have. I get this itch. I didn't know if anyone else was going to find it funny, but I did. And now, thankfully, other people are finding it funny, too. A massive metaphor is at the center of Colossal, a weird genre-defying comedic thrill. In it, Anne Hathaway plays an alcoholic whose problems are manifested through a giant monster attacking innocent civilians in South Korea. Let's just say that if Hathaway is still dealing with all that half a hate after her 2013 Oscar win for Les Mis, this offbeat creature feature is the way to separate herself from the Anne we knew before. I wasn't trying to win an Oscar. It was just a fun movie that I think more should exist. Keep it cool. Look at those people are looking at us. She's the monster. Colossal hits theaters Friday. But you don't have to wait until Friday to see some amazing movies. Today is National Canadian Film Day 150. The one-day event is the world's largest film festival ever, with more than 1,700 screenings happening across the country and around the globe. To find out what you can watch and where, check out canadianfilmday.ca. And coming up tomorrow, a sneak peek at our chat with Christian Bale about his Armenian genocide drama, The Promise.